welcome back guys to another beer review. Uh, we're off to a local brewery now and we're off to Salopian and this is a can of their Syzygy coming in at 5.3%. I believe it's a pale ale it says. Double dry hopped pale ale, uh, lusciously hopped with Cascade, Vic Secret, Citra and Idaho 7. Uh, pours naturally cloudy as we all know. Like I say these are from Hadnall just outside Shrewsbury, uh, local to me. 5.3%, 440ml can, £3.50. So, it's nice and ice cold, and obviously I've ended up having to pick up one of these beautiful Salopian glasses. I don't know if you can see that. Gorgeous. What a lovely shape that is. I had to pick one of them up. So, uh, yeah, let's get this out and see what we get. It's their typical, this is part of their Black Label range. They do traditional beers and ales. Uh, but they do a black label range, which is more craft sort of stuff. And tends to be pretty decent, pretty bloody decent in all fairness. Wow, carbonation shooting up there, up the side of the glass there it was. Uh, can't see much else in there. It's a, a, a hazy orange color. Might look a bit lemon in there, but it's more orange to me. We've got a finger of quite compact head, although it's quite fluffy on top. Looks really good, love that glass. No sediment in there from what I can see, but no doubt there'll be a lot of that in there. So just incidentally, anyone from Slopian, if you happen to see this, why are you selling 440 ml cans and giving me a two thirds of a pint glass? I want to be able to fit the whole glass, a whole can inside this glass. Make this glass bigger, please. 500 ml, please. Anyway, that's out of the way as well. So yeah, looks really good. Let's dive in on the nose. Oh, lovely tropical. Grapefruit, not tropical, yeah, not so much tropical for me. Grapefruit, nice hoppy aroma in there. Get a bit of mango. Bit of pineapple, the usual suspects. It's Sometimes it gets a bit boring and I will mix them up, but otherwise generally you do tend to get the same sort of aromas from it. Got a bit of pininess in there, I think. Yeah. Smells beautiful anyway. So let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Hmm, it's nice enough. Nice enough indeed. Let's go in again. In fact, what I'll do is I'll take a bit more out of this. Let me see if we can get a bit more in there. The old. Uh, going to be extra sediment, might even be a bit cloudier. I'll tell you what, the beer pours lovely in this. Uh, so yeah, going again. Mouthfeel is nice enough. A little bit of carbonation. Uh, just right for me, really, the carbonation in my view. Because the body on the beer is... It's a tad on the thin side for me, but they've got the carbonation just right uh, to make it interesting. Bitterness right on the back end still after what I've had. Hoppy, grapefruit, a real sort of tangy sort of bitterness to it, uh, almost citrus-like. It's only really grapefruit though, if I'm brutally honest, I'm picking up in the taste. Yeah, only really sort of grapefruit for me. You get nice aromas, but you're not sort of getting all that, all that flavour for me. Uh, fruits, fruit wise, if you like. Uh, like I say, repeat myself, but you're getting the grapefruit. And then the hoppy sort of bitterness as well. Grapefruit bitterness, hoppy bitterness. But it's nice enough. 5.3% it does drink like that. It is refreshing. Uh, excuse me. It's... It's very similar, actually, to... Uh, 
to the one I done yesterday, uh, Rivington Brewery. The can't think what it was called. The one that uh, Simon sent me. Very similar to that, except it hasn't got the body. Uh, not not as heavy in body as that one. Bit better carbonation for me in this one than that. And both the same really because not enough juiciness for me in the flavour on both of them. Uh, which may, may, makes the bitterness a little bit more sort of like put, put at the front really. Uh, excuse me again. But it's nice enough and it's decent enough. And for the price, it's decent enough. Just the only little thing I would say about it is for me, it's a little bit too bitter. And could have a little bit more juiciness to it. But other than that, other than that, it's a perfectly acceptable dry hop double pale ale. Double dry hop pale ale, I should say. It's a bit piney as well. Yeah, it's a bit piney as well, but pretty much all bitterness really with uh, a bit of pininess and a bit of juiciness a bit of, well a bit of grapefruit uh, well that's it for this beer review I've rambled through this one decent enough beer well worth trying but there there are well I can't say that there's obviously going to be better ones out there but for me what I mean is from my own personal taste there's ones out there that suit me more uh, a little bit more body on it would have been nice and a little bit more juiciness uh, and I would have really been raving about that one I think but still a very decent beer uh, that's just down to my own personal taste so uh, Salopian Brewery get onto their website if you want to try it pick it up uh, Rad Beer will probably do it as well thanks for watching this beer review I've enjoyed it if you've had it anyway let me know what you think apologies for rambling on a bit uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you again on another beer review very soon Cheers.